I need the battery. Yeah. 
Sage Hesperson awesome. come visit me for at the C4 Center. Thank you. Situation where it already did the 
determined by the parks department that is appropriate. I am a homeowner. Let me, let, me, let me talk truth to people here. I'm a homeowner in Brooklyn. I am responsible for my sidewalk. We're all responsible for our sidewalk. Now, this is not always fun. Let me be real with people. I don't like it. And I've had issues with my sidewalk. And I have a tree in front of my house. And it wasn't like I didn't ask for it to be there, even though I enjoyed the tree. When I moved in, the tree was there. So I'm responsible for my sidewalk. There are cases where the city takes responsibility for particular reasons. And there's a regular tree pruning program that is not sufficient. It's something we're trying to pump up with the city council to be very adamant of the more recently. So I don't want the councilman in his zeal to suggest that our owners are not still responsible for their sidewalks, because we are. Yeah. But we will try with our exceptional situations to provide support uh, and intervene. That's the reality. Thank you. I do have a piece of legislation. Maybe we can talk more about it. I'll put three minutes in here. So, let's talk about it. Yes. Come on. Who's over there ready? One, two, and three. Come on, man. He was over there ready. Department of Transportation just got a quick addition here. So, every year we go to community boards throughout the city to make certain repairs at one, two, three single family uh, homes. Next year, our sidewalk contract will be in this community board, CB12. So I can speak to you afterwards, and I can talk to you to see if, we can, if your address should be on the list since it has a bunch of notice of violations. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. I'm What can our uh, mayor do to help raise your additional funding to build on their senior housing college to address the lack of housing for seniors, which is bad in the Bronx and in New York City. Thank you. We've been very focused on senior housing. We have an initial plan for 10,000 apartments, 10,000 senior citizens, Hi, man, apartments, but also all of our affordable housing plan, which is up for half a million people. It's 200,000 apartments. Excuse me, seniors can apply for any and all of those, obviously. So that's part one. That plan is the biggest support housing plan in the city's ever had. Another tax for half a million people built or subsidized over 10 years. Mm. On top of that, we're keeping a lot of seniors from being evicted because of free legal services. So again, I'm going to make that statement again to anybody who knows someone who is facing either a legal eviction or harassment by a landlord, not getting heat, hot water, all you have to do is call 311. If it's a legal issue, we will provide you with a lawyer for free. That is stopping a lot of evictions and helping seniors stay in the house we have now. We're also trying to get a lot more seniors to take advantage of the rent freeze. We have a rent freeze that my administration put in effect for all rent stabilized housing, but on top of that, seniors who qualify get a rent freeze separately. And still, there's tens of thousands of seniors who don't take advantage of it. So we're trying to sign up more and more seniors for that. Those are all pieces of the plan, on top of which every opportunity we get, we're trying to help individual seniors get the support they need for affordable housing. So the, uh, all of those pieces add up, and uh, we passed a law, and this is particularly important, with the help of Andy King and members of the City Council, we passed a law requiring developers who are developing the city and need a city government permit to do it. They now must create affordable housing as part of that plan. If they don't create affordable housing, they will not get the permit to provide a parking too. When we pass that law, one of the number one supporters of that change was AARP, which is obviously the strongest organized voice mm -hmm. for seniors, because they realized it would lead to a lot more housing being created for senior citizens. So that's how we're trying to support the seniors in the city.
Have, we, have you submitted a proposal working with the, the Department of Housing Preservation Development? We'll follow up. Thank you so much. We will connect you to the right people at the Department of Housing Preservation Development. Thank you. Number two. Good evening. Uh, I'm a public service. I'm a police department and people of the community. Uh, my name is Elaine Johnson. And I'm uh, <clears throat> I'm a certified safety warden, a certified safety manager, I'm an EHMS specialist, and a certified safety trainer. I went to the school of uh, the National Association of Safety Professionals. I also went to the College of Bradley for construction and management. Uh, I have a final question. My question is, uh, I'm trying to train our young youth in society and keep them from going to jail? That's a statement question. Yeah, but uh, my question is, um, yeah. Yeah. they are not recognizing my certification in uh, the state of New York. How can I go about doing that? So instead of sending out uh, youth to jail, I can train them and, um, so they can have some jobs. When you say they are not